August 26th, 1981, North Korea. The communist regime of Kim Il-sung is flexing its military muscles. Fearing an invasion of the democratic south, the West desperately needs intelligence. We had to understand what is happening with the North Korean order of battle. What is their intention? Where are their forces? What are they up to? What are they doing? And there was only one system that could furnish that information, and it was the SR-71. 17 years after its first flight, the Blackbird is still the world's best spy plane. Now, it'll fly secret missions to locate the North Koreans' anti-aircraft missiles. Pilot Maury Rosenberg is tasked with flying over the DMZ, a demilitarized zone between North and South, but one known to be within reach of enemy missiles. Most of the missions were uh, through the DMZ, where we would make anywhere from uh, three to as many as four passes, uh, east to west, west to east, etc. Uh, that's looking good. Looking real good. The plane carries equipment that's to nice. warn of enemy radar activity. Rosenberg and his reconnaissance specialist, Ed McKim, complete two passes without the monitor lighting up. This aircraft, though, even on a training flight, let alone an operational flight, you never really relax. You're always, you're always uh, watching everything. And the next few seconds, I could tell it was rapidly climbing. August 1981, and in the midst of renewed hostilities, North Korea has fired a Soviet-made guided missile at a Blackbird spy plane. Okay, I see a visual. Aircrew Maury Rosenberg and Ed McKim have less than one minute to impact. It's climbing. The window to shoot the missile and the missile to get to us is less than about 50 seconds. All pilot Rosenberg can do is try to outmaneuver the missile. And it said, let's turn off track. And I said, OK. So we started to turn towards the left. Well, obviously, we didn't want to go right into North Korea. But he doesn't have the agility of a fighter jet. Once I had a good visual and I could see it, and as we started to turn, I could see the missile didn't change course. Blackbird is saved by its speed. The enemy just don't have time to recalculate the target coordinates and redirect the missile. I saw the missile go by on the right side and explode. It's hard to judge distance at altitude because there's no reference. So I'm guessing that the missile was probably within a mile, a mile and a half of the aircraft. That was a little close. At Mach 3, that's equivalent to just two seconds from impact. I actually felt pretty relieved when we got on the ground that nothing and nothing else happened. Just as Kelly Johnson had predicted, even when it is detected, the Blackbird proves just too fast to catch. The Soviets even developed the MiG-25 jet fighter to bring it down. But not a single SR-71 is ever lost to enemy fire an unmatched record.